quite some time. and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous darling. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, I'd love for you to take 2.5. Go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there. Turn on your notification bell so that you never miss an upload. Also, if you want to take it a step further, come over and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, we're jumping in right now. Hello, besties, you guys, how are you? I've missed you so much. Anyways, you guys, I am here with all the fragrances to spill the tea. I have had time to play with them. I'm here to give you longevity. I'm here to give you sillage, power, everything like that. So if you wanna know more, make sure you take 2.5 seconds, drop your scent of the day. Why? Because you know that I wanna know what you're wearing. Let's jump right in. We're gonna start with the newest one here to my collection, which is Prada Paradox. I picked this up. If you guys watch a vlog back, I told you all about it. I went in store. You know I have a quick 2.5 straight time with every fragrance that I'm about to tell you about today. So here's what happened. I went in, I sprayed it. The first um, impression I got Donna Born in Roma. That's what came to mind. Ellie Saab is one that came to mind. My way. All the things, right? So I was like, yeah. But then I went back and I couldn't compartmentalize it and I'm like, it's not complex. It's not earth shattering. It's not over the top. It's nothing like that. But it's good, good. I said, I need this. One of the sales associates gave me a huge sample, like a 10 mil bottle. I played with it for about a weekend. I wore it out on a date, I wore it to brunch, and I was like, you know what, I gotta have it. I captured the whole experience in another vlog that will be up sometime this week, so make sure you check out the channel because that vlog is coming. But yeah, so I did go back and pick this up, you guys. It's really good. It was long lasting on me. And when I say that, I mean moderate longevity, about Six and a half, seven hours. On my clothes, it got there, it stayed. I did spray heavy, like I said, I had a 10 mil vial. This one here, a few of the notes are pear, tangerine, it has bergamot, it has neroli, it has amber, benzoin, vanilla. It's a beautiful fragrance. In comparison to Donna Born Aroma is what I did a side-by-side -side comparison if you watch that vlog back. This is not as deep, it is not as heavy. It's a little bit lighter, brighter, a little bit more airier. It reminds me of Heaven Tea. It's a beautiful fragrance, perfect for like a first date, perfect for meeting someone's parents, perfect for a signature everyday scent. It's very pretty, it's very pretty girl-esque, as we say, and um, it's a beautiful bottle. I knew, you know, I was hoping I really liked it because, oh God, it was a bottle. This is a mister on it. The mister is like really wide. It has a very wide mister, evenly distributed, and I love it. So Prada Paradox, I do feel that this is going to be all the rage. Even coming into the holiday season, I do think people are going to be gifting people this like crazy. I just think that this is going to be one for the win. So if you have not got your hands on it yet, I'd highly recommend Prada Paradox. I move on. My next one up is this one here. This is Burberry Elixir. You probably have seen this every this has been all the rage it's been over everywhere absolutely love this I know I keep referencing the video that I did before which was a part one and I think I'm gonna start doing that because I had a lot of fun with that and it was a great way to shop with you all and show you the fragrances as well this is a beautiful fragrance now for me this was love at first sniff I went in I shared that with you I held my arm out they didn't even have it out on display yet the ladies over there were so nice to me at the Macy's they went upstairs they brought it down they made a sample they didn't even have a sample sample out yet and they made me um, a, a sample vial because I didn't buy this right up front. Oh yes I did, yes I did. It was Prada Paradox that I didn't buy up front. They made me a sample of this as well because I wanted to travel with this so they made me a sample. But you guys, this was so good. They sprayed it, I smelled it, I was like wrap it up, yep, I want it. It was one of those love at first sniff. In comparison to the original Burberry, which I have, and I do have the Burberry Intense. Thank you all for helping me find that. This is sweeter, it's sexier, um, it has a little bit more depth to it to me in my opinion. I do find it a lot more sweeter, a lot more sexier, a lot more romantic, but in a more subtle, soft, quiet, feminine way. It's definitely a feminine, girly girl fragrance, date night, brunch. Um, what else would I wear this to? A signature scent? What? what a, let's see. I don't know, 
know, I just get sexy. You guys know I love love. So I'm always thinking about date nights. I'm always thinking about places like that, but I would wear this out on a day. I'm not sure I would make this like a signature scent every day, but it's definitely something that makes me feel pretty, something that makes me feel special, girly, dainty, you know, all those things. Let me give you a few of the notes. It has strawberry, blackberry, it has amber, vanilla, sandalwood. This right here I feel is chef's kiss. I have smelled, I'm trying to think, all of them. And oh, are you about to say that? I still think Burberry Intense is my favorite because of the cherry note. But this one right here is really good. This did hold on to my body very moderately, about six or seven hours. I will say this, it does sit extremely close to the body. The wear down, as it dry down, is set so close and it's perfect for like a close encounter, perfect for like a Netflix and chill. This would be something if you were gonna put on and then you were gonna meet somebody like in a few hours and the things happen, you know what I mean? It's one of those that it's like, ooh, because I had sprayed it on and then I gave it about maybe, I don't know, I would say about four or five hours. I went on with the day and I was like, oh, that's right, let me check this dry down. And it was still there and it was purring, but ever so slightly like a kitty purr, like a, like a whisper of a purr. This right here, Burberry Elixir, I highly recommend. I think it is good, good, I move on. The next one that I picked up, you guys, I went into the store, I was playing around in the Nordstrom's. I'm always going in, I like to discover new fragrances and try new things. One of the besties to the channel, hey Michelle, she suggested, Sheree, you need to try Trish McCoy. I hope I said that right, Tr Trish McCoy. And I'm like, Mac McAvoy, no it's not. She said you need to try Trish McAvoy. And I'm like, what is that? She's like, if you've not tried their fragrances, you have to. So when I was walking through the Nordstrom's, I seen it and I was just like, but she makes makeup. And so then they had another little section and it was a fragrance and it was number nine. I'll share that with you, it was this one here. And I said, oh my God, this is the one that all the brows on the channel were telling me to try. So I picked it up, not really knowing which one, because I hear there's a few fragrances by Trish. So I picked it up, I sprayed it, you guys. Honest story, a quick 2.5. I sprayed it on and I sniffed and I was like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. It was very different for me. It's not hot, heavy, it's not loud, it's not in your face or your face, but what it did give me, I get so excited. You see, I'm so excited because this one right here just did something different. It uplifted my mood immediately. It sent me to like a happy place. It was very upbeat, very joyful, very, you know, different, but 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 quiet, not loud. It didn't have like oak, oak moss or saffron or some of the other notes, Szechuan pepper or whatever. You guys know, pink pepper, hot pepper, whatever, okay? It didn't have any of that kind of stuff. It was just quiet and lowly and soft and feminine and dainty and girly and sexy. See, so I went about my day, I said no big deal, I sprayed my arm and I sprayed a card. I put the blotter card in my handbag and I went about my day and like I said, hours later, I went in to smell it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is really good. I'm like, that's it, I'm going back to the Nordstrom's and I'm picking it up and guess what? I went back and I picked it up and this is it here. It is a beautiful bottle, I love the bottle. I don't have anything in my collection that looks like this. The bottle is really nice. It has a nice clear cap that I really like and can appreciate from it. I don't know if it's the blackberry, the plum, the mandarin orange, the white rose, Aquamanthus, musk, vanilla, cashmere and wood. I don't know what it is, you guys, I don't. But this is a beautiful fragrance. You have beautiful taste. Oh my gosh, I already have a dent in here. I already have a slight dent in here, if you can see that, because I have been playing with it so much. It's so good, it's so everyday, it's so beautiful, it's so dainty, it's so feminine, it's woman. Um, like, like a woman, like a well put together, dress classy sophisticated woman that who's just happy and on her grind you know what i mean she's just taking the world by storm and she doesn't have to you know come in you know being loud or what have you she can do it all low-key and still get it done that's the vibe that this fragrance gives me you guys and i absolutely love it um what did i write down because i wrote some notes down to share with you guys i said it's very soft it's like a skin scent as it dries down on the body but you're still able to smell it it's very intimate, it's simple, it's subtle, it's simple, 
it's simple but yet effective is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's an easy reach fragrance. It's an everyday fragrance. I feel that this would be an amazing signature scent fragrance. And I also feel that it's appropriate for a date night fragrance because like I said, I do find this one sexy. I move on. Now I did go in and I did play with 724 that came out by Maison Francis Kirk John. I'm not gonna keep you, I'm not gonna hold you. It was my favorite. I didn't really love it. I didn't really understand it. It just, it was a no for me. It was a no for me. And I have a few samples right here that was gifted to me by the team over at Neiman Marcus. They did give me a few to play with. Um, they said, you know, play with it. You know, maybe you'll change your mind, yada, yada, yada. Normally, when it comes to MFK, when I smell this fragrance, I'm like, so, like, if it's one that I like, you know, not all of them do I love, but I'm like, I know when I like something, it doesn't take a long time, I don't need a full bottle, I'm pretty good at knowing what I like, and with this one, I was just like, no, it didn't smell like me, it didn't smell like anything that I wanted to smell like, and it did not transport me anywhere upon initial spray. What it did do was make me confused, because I was like, I don't know where to put this. I don't know where to compartmentalize it. I did go in and read some of the notes just to see what they were because nothing smelled familiar to me except for powder. I got a very strong powdery note when spraying this fragrance and um, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Let me start by saying that. It's just not my favorite. It's aldehyde. Um, it has bergamot in it, jasmine. It has some white musk, sandalwood. It's perfect for like a spring summer scent. I may revisit it in spring and summer, but with my mind being, you know, already leading towards fall, this is just not something that I would want to smell like and I really don't like the dry down at all. So this one right here, I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the new MFK 724? For me, it's a no, I'll pass. There was another one that came out by Gucci. This one here, I went in store and picked this up as well. I wanted to sample it. I received a ton of questions on what I thought about it. I wanted to be able to play with it and give it to you. And you guys, it's a beautiful fragrance, especially if you love jasmine. This one here is Gucci Flora gorgeous jasmine and i believe the other one was the pink one and it was gucci gorgeous gardenia that one was really really sweet to me too sweet for my particular liking but it was a beautiful fragrance if i were to be completely honest with you gucci can you just send me the bottles because the bottles are gorgeous darling they are so gorgeous but when it comes to the fragrance mm, I would take it if you gave it to me, but I don't think I would buy it. I had about a few opportunities to buy this one. Some of the notes inside of it is jasmine, magnolia. Those are the notes that are in it, it looks like. It's a nice fragrance, especially if you like jasmine. But I like this one more than I like the 724. This is good. This is really good. I don't know, don't be surprised. Okay, oh God, do I take it all back? Don't be surprised if I have like a tiny bottle of this. Just a tiny bottle because it is pretty. And I do like it. And like I told you, it's very girly. It's very feminine. Um, when it came to longevity, I only played with it, you guys, to be honest with you, for probably like a day or so. I didn't have any problem with longevity. It was there about, you know, moderate length. Um, it wasn't beast mode. It wasn't in your face. It does project, though. When you went to move, like when I move, you move. Just like that. It moved. You know what I mean? When I went to do this, I got a whiff of it. When my guy came in my personal space, he got a whiff of it. So it is good. I would definitely say get your nose on this and get a whiff of it for yourself. In my opinion, it's really good. I move on. The next one is this one here. I did receive a sample of Leisure in Paradise and I could not wait to try this because I heard so many of the growls talk about it. I heard Keitra speak about it. I heard Fumi speak about it. And so I wanted to get my nose on it and try it. And I did play with it, you guys. Let me give you a few of the notes and then we'll talk. In our top notes, we have papaya. It's a very tropical fragrance in my opinion. Very gourmand. Cocoa. It has... Um, Papaya, like I said, coconut, vanilla, Caribbean woods. I played with it. I don't want to spray this on because this, it got on my body and held it tight and did not let it go. Okay, and I only sprayed a little bit. So I can imagine you don't need to overspray this. I probably would overspray it anyway, but you don't really need to overspray this. This got on the body, held it tight, and really did not let it go. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's really nice. Let me just re familiarize myself. But what I get from it, it is gourmand, it is beautiful, it is tropical, it is juicy, creamy, rich, decadent, all the things. But in my opinion, in my opinion, I, or yeah, my opinion, right? I would prefer, because this smells to me like, oh my God, what is it? Soul de Janeiro, 
um, So de Janeiro, the, the Bum Bum Cream. It smells like that fragrance mixed with Tom's Ford uh, Soleil Blanc. That's the vibes that it gave me. It's like if those two got together and had a baby, this fragrance would be that. So for me, if someone gifted it to me or gave it to me, I would get it, I would have it. But other than that, I would definitely prefer uh, Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. That would just be my favorite over this because this, in my opinion, is good. It, it might be a little bit too sweet for me. It might, that's what I'm thinking. Cause yesterday it was on and it was like almost not clawing, but I definitely was like, girl, like you are purring, like nobody's business, like what's good? It was just like, Ugh. But in a nice gourmand, subtle way, very sweet, very decadent. So if you like that type of a fragrance, this would be perfect for you. But for me, I would need it to be hotter. You know what I mean? I know, I, I want pepper and everything. I would need it to have like some pepper, something else in it that would just, I don't know, I'm gonna keep playing around with it. Um, I have a few samples. I'm gonna keep playing around with it, but would I go out and buy it right off that? Absolutely not. I definitely reach for my Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. In my opinion, it kind of smells in that same category, that same family, that same coconut, tropical, ram, and vibe. And this one right here, right now, today, is just a bit too sweet for me. Now, I might change my mind. You know how I am. I am a woman. I am a person. I am a human, okay? I have the right to change my mind. Anyways, you guys, that is it for this video. Oh, I did want to touch briefly on, you guys, I wrote notes, okay? I was ready. I did want to touch briefly on the Ja Dior, the new Ja Dior. I'll pop a picture here, the parfum, the one that just came out. It's beautiful. I was 2.5 seconds from buying it. I even had the lady put it up there and tell me the price of it. But it was kind of expensive for what it was. And I already have uh, two of the Ja Dior's. And that one smells very close to it, but I would say it is beautiful. Don't be surprised if you come back and see it in my collection because I did add it to my Christmas list. And I do think it's a beautiful fragrance for like getting out of the shower. It's more of a very mist fragrance. In my opinion, it's like a body mist type of fragrance. So you know how Chanel came out with number one or what is it called? I can't even think of it, but I'll put a picture. You remember how they came out with this? Well, I believe Dior came out with this and it's the same kind of concept. It's more a, of a mist type of fragrance. So it's one of those fragrances like a body spray, a body splash, body mist. You get out of the shower, you hydrate, you lotion, you moisturize, you body oil, you do the thing, right? And then you tip it off with that. It's one of those days that maybe you didn't want to do a lot of fragrance. You didn't want to be in your face. Or maybe someone who just doesn't want a very heavy fragrance. I can see this being ideal for you. It is beautiful. It gives the same vibe as the original very wedding day pretty girl button up put together work appropriate signature scent worthy all the things it does so shot jaw dior is a beautiful fragrance i will say that however i just don't know if i'm ready to pay that price for that one because i would probably want to get another of the chanel one that's just more of my scent profile but i wanted to say this because a lot of you were asking what did i think about it and i do think that it is beautiful that is it for this video you guys thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today i truly appreciate you if you've enjoyed the vibe please consider hitting the subscribe button do not forget to come over and say hi on instagram and i will see you beautiful souls in the next one until next time you know the drill be blessed stay fit but definitely stay fabulous, to audience. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> and if you guys are still here and you're wondering, what the heck is wrong with her today? You guys, sometimes I have those days. Sometimes, I think I think it was the look. I think it, I've been working out, my hair is done. I mean, not done. I got this bun, it's all pulled back. I feel like I'm about to go into the office. I got this mock neck on. It be like that sometimes. Okay, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.